What is going on, All Terrain Nation? Whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, you know the drill. It does not matter what you drive because this is your All Terrain Nation, and I'm your host, David Boyd. So today we are going to talk about Bronco accessories. Now, sometime in March, we're supposed to get the actual price for these things, and uh, it, Bronco Nation did a... a lighthearted video we'll say of of talking to the Ford rep about hey you know when can we expect new prices on things and they kept talking about a price increase for March and it's not the vehicle that's going to increase I believe it's just they were talking about what we're about to see the uh, the options that you can actually add to it now there's only a couple for me there's only a couple options that I really want for one I want the little bar that goes across the dash so I can put my GoPro phones and all that stuff attached to it and I want a uh, beamy cover and or beamy top and that's Really, for me, that's about all I can see for right now. But that hasn't stopped Ford from uh, coming up and maybe throwing some darts at a wall and uh, let's see what stick. Because some of these things that I'm seeing right now are, well, I don't think they're well thought out ideas. Now, some things we're about to see, maybe because states require certain things like uh, tires. You know, I know in some of the northern states, they require if your tires are sticking out, they have to be covered. So I understand some of that, even though you're going to see me mess with it just a little bit and have a little fun with this. Understand, uh, you know, what's not for me might be for you and vice versa. What may be for my build might not be right for you. But that's not going to stop us from going through this list and just having some fun. Now, I want to say this list comes to us from Bronco 6G. So uh, and I'll put a link down below where you can see these things. And uh, if you want a little better view at it or, you know, at your own pace have a view at it we'll go from there but uh so let's just jump into this thing and let's talk some bronco accessories all right once again this is from bronco 6g and i want to i want to say thank you to those guys over there for uh for you know finding this stuff bronco 6g has been a great resource for anything bronco and i want to say thank you to those guys for constantly uh doing the dirty work here and so we can all talk about it in uh plan our Broncos, right? So let's get into this thing. The Fender Flare Kits. Now, this stuff is brought to you, looks by, like, if you read right, it's all by Bushwhacker. Now, I'm going to say probably Bushwhacker actually makes the, the OEM flares as well, because I can't see Ford, well, we know Ford doesn't actually produce a lot of this stuff, you know, especially plastic parts. They It's all outsourced. But why would Ford need three different companies making fender flares, you know, especially for them? Because Ford's going to offer, I think, what, two style OEM? Actually, three if you count the painted uh, fender flares. But so let's look at this and uh, we'll see if it's right for you. So this is the fender flare kit. Now, it is shown here by Bushwhacker. And uh, these available, you'll see the dates now. Each company has their own coding for this. But I'm going to say this is second quarter, which is when most people are, you know, the Bronco is going to start trickling out so it's we all know it's second quarter on this stuff and uh, most of us won't be till third and fourth quarter that uh that will actually see any broncos but i anticipate it's going to be late second quarter you know at least the parts will be ready so all right so the fender flares on this nothing looks really really you know different on these which is why i say probably bushwhacker is actually making the fender flares for the bronco in general uh but they start getting a little weirder as we go down here this is uh a fender flare kit now it just looks like somebody's got their arms sticking out like woo, like it's superman flying through the wind so i'm sure this is uh these any of these flares probably aren't great for aerodynamics but these look a little goofy these are uh these are going to be the first idea i see that i'm just like hmm it's kind of an odd one but once again i understand that certain states require if you want to put 37s or even 40s on this thing eventually you got to have certain states require tire coverage. They have to be covered. So I get it, and yeah, it may not be the, the coolest looking thing, but if you take consideration that Jeep has the wide fender flares anyways and kind of the short, narrow hood where the Bronco already has it all extended out, it's probably why these look a little bit strange versus what maybe a Jeep would look like. But um, shows J2 is availability date. Once again, I think that's second quarter. Uh, obviously, for these trucks to be manufactured, when they, when they drop, by law, they're required to have enough parts. If somebody bought that vehicle day one and wrecks it, they have to have a supply already in the chain that they can start fixing these vehicles so people aren't waiting six months to get any kind of repairs. And that goes with, uh, you know, OEM accessories are going to want to be there from day one, too. So, once again, these flares are um, a little weird. But, once again, I understand what they're about. Now, we're getting into some... Uh, I feel like these are the the Eric Cartman flares of uh, the Bronco here. Um, these these things are wide. Now, 
Bushwhacker makes some really cool flares like this on the um, the full size vehicles. Like they look really, really good on full size trucks. I don't know that it looks really, really good on the uh, the Bronco. Now, what we've seen in the Bronco concept that they they did their little SEMA presentation where they changed the fenders out to more of a square square fender. I think those look great. Um, these, once again, I think part of the problem with this is they look a little strange because you're looking at OEM tires and wheels on this thing. So it just looks, uh, you know, maybe if we saw this thing in, um, in maybe the Sasquatch package, it would look a lot cooler. But once again, it's showing availability as J2 on these, and they're gonna. It looks like they're gonna have a few different uh, options, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna assume some of the options are are uh, the depth. Like these have to be the most maxed out fender flares they make. Like they just have to be. And I think some of this too is the way Ford does the rounded uh, fender fenders in general, which is great for uh, adding bigger tires. That sometimes maybe the the kind of just circle effect. It just makes it look like a big balloon or something. But once again, I'm not, these aren't the worst thing I've seen. Those ones that just come straight out are pretty bad in my opinion. But, you know, it is what it is. And uh, there's your next fender flare kit. Now, here is the OEM, the large fender flare kit. Now, it doesn't, you can see where it's been cut off. But this definitely, it has to be from Bushwhacker. I'm telling you, these ha it doesn't make any sense why Bushwhacker would not be making these parts in general. Uh, which is probably why they were able to get these OEM flares, you know, to Ford. And you can see in these, these this is inside, this is inside uh, Ford, you know, where they're where producing. And one of these, you can see in the background here. There's, I bet that's a, uh, I bet that's a, a new Ranger that they're they're testing. But uh, anyways, so the OEM obviously will be these will be available, especially if you have the Sasquatch package. They come with these. So uh, now we're going to get into some other parts. So. Air dam accessories because I don't know. I don't, I, some of this stuff like really boggles my mind, but it is what it is. Now, everybody wants to customize their vehicle and make it what, what they want it to look like. It represents them or however. I get that. Um, some of these are uh, a little, a little strange to me. Uh, these look like they came off the Nissan Xterra. If you uh, look at the, the Frontier Xterra, especially from the late 2000s, they, uh, they had these big door flares like this. And, uh, I'm pretty sure that I I wouldn't buy these. And, uh, you know, if you think about the doors of these things, they're like a Jeep. I've never seen a Jeep. I could be wrong, but I've never seen a Jeep with flares like this. And most of the time, you've got removable doors, especially in the summer. The odds of those doors being on the vehicle all the time, it's slim to none, man. So I guess if you're a mall crawler and you're worried about uh, bumping into, um, you know, you're at the mall and you're worried about people ding in your your truck with the door well, whatever so so be it but um it, i don't it see, says i bet that's to be determined on availability of these things but uh they're doing they're doing all kinds of little hood parts and uh it looks like some little flares here on the bumper as well um but it's all done you can see it's it's by air designs it's all 3m tape stuff 3m tape is great like they use it in the auto manufacturing world but um once again i don't think this would be for me but if it is for you that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, now these are hit or miss on people. I've seen these uh, the the uh, best top. They've been showing a lot of pictures on on Bronco Six G of these best tops where you know the the kind of the hatch or the uh, the uh, oh what do they call these the uh, fastback tops and uh, I don't get it again once again. I mean there's going to be an accessory for everybody so. Once again, I may sound like I'm crapping on it. If you like it, that's awesome. And uh, when you get one, I want to see it, man. I'm, I'm, you know, I like, I like all things Bronco here. So, uh, but I don't. I the only cool thing about these that I've seen is where you can take the sides off and you leave the kind of the top on, like that safari look a little bit. Um, but other than that, uh, it's not for me. Uh, it looks like it will be uh, availability. It says uh, I'm assuming that's job one. And 180, so I don't think it's going to be. It's probably not till Christmas time that we you would probably see these. But I, it's understanding their product codes, so I, I'm not sure exactly on that. But the full retractable top. Now this is pretty popular in the Jeep community, and uh, you know a lot of people don't want to deal with the hard tops that you got to you know constantly deal with all the the pulling and and you know you got to store the panels and all that. So this is pretty cool. Um, 
I went to, I'm not a soft top person though. I've had soft top Jeeps and they just, they tend to wear, especially if you do this a lot, you eventually will wear that top. Uh, and these tops aren't exactly cheap, but I do like, I think this is a, a nice way if you want that convertible, that convertible feel. I think this is a, it's going to be a nice accessory, but once again, they, you can't see, they've cut this off. Um, and it's probably, it might be in, in, yeah, it might be in the, in part of this. Um, but I like it, you know, once again, it's not, not necessary for me. Let's see if we can blow this little part up. Now, this is the beamy top. Now we don't get a real good picture on how this is going to go up there, but if you're planning on doing any kind of little fun road trip, you know, an all day road trip and you want kind of that that feel of a convertible top this is definitely a way to go it will knock down some of the sun rays on you and um i i like it a lot now as we can see there also you've got the half the half looks like uh either convertible top or uh they might do a beamy option that way um jeep does this and uh definitely this is a uh hey we're going after your your market we're going to do the same top um, I don't see too many, uh, call me crazy, but I don't see too many of these things floating around. I don't see a lot of them in the summer times where it's just this. Uh, I don't know how popular this is in your area. I don't see it a lot in my area, but, uh, you know, more, more stuff, um, more tops. It looks like job one plus 180. So I don't, I don't know if that's what that means, the coding or not, but, um, uh, some of this, Soft top canvas BB top four door is a uh, my model year 22, which is kind of a bummer uh, because I want that. <laughs> that is, I do want a BB top for my four door, but you know, we can't all this stuff. You can't exactly expect it to be out right when we're uh, ready to order. Plus, you know, think about it. Jeeps had 60 years of people wanting to make things for it. Uh, the OEM skid plates, um, probably I would probably they're coming with my my black diamond but I I'm curious to see how how rugged these actually are usually OEM plates are just generally they're kind of tin like uh, they offer a little protection but for the most part they're not like a real you know 3 16th plate steel or, or, or aluminum so I am kind of curious about it they do look good what you can see of it right there and that's part of it you want them to look good uh, but I probably this is probably something if mine didn't come with it I mean, I'm still going to go aftermarket on this anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, let's see here. Oh, the OEM rock rails or rock sliders, as we call them here in Tennessee. Um, what, uh, these are body mounted. Jeep does it. A lot of companies can do body mounted accessories. I am, would prefer these to be frame mounted. And I think uh, aftermarket will take care of that problem and do a frame mounted because they're just stronger. Uh, but it's, since it's coming with my Sasquatch package, I, uh, I'll probably beat the crap out of these to, uh, go when, once white knuckle, uh, off-road makes some, I'll probably jump to their stuff because I like that company a lot, but it's nice that you can, if you want to buy these things, it looks like it's going to be a nice accessory. Now, this is one of the head scratchers to me. Maybe, maybe I'm looking at this wrong and so be it. If I am, tell me I'm wrong in the comments below, or do you agree with me on this? And because trail armor. And now we, I can't really see in great detail some of this, but at what, I mean, obviously, obviously, yes, we know we can get dings and scratches and stuff, but I, are we, are we just worried about maybe limbs, stuff like that? I, I've not seen anything like this. This isn't one that's got me kind of scratching my head and maybe I'm not, maybe in my off-roading experience, which has been all over the United States, I just haven't came up to this and thought, oh man, I need this. Now I know Wranglers, especially on the, the taillights here, Wrangler offers, you know, you can get the metal plates and stuff to put around that, that area. Um, I don't know. These, these were kind of strange to me. Um, it's got a J one availability. So I don't know. I don't know if that's job one quarter one of maybe two twenty two. I, I don't know exactly. Uh, the hood ones kind of, uh, whatever. I don't understand it. And, uh, it looks like these are some sort of, uh, for the, where these are rock rails here maybe. And these are right at the steps. So maybe they're offering some kind of protection there. Um, just looks a little weird, but once again, I'm sure that's just me being kind of negative on these things. Um, oh, here's the one that everybody wants. Splash guards. We can't, mm, can't wait for this one, right? 
most most off road vehicles I know, you, as soon as you get these, the not dealerships, but Ford will overcharge for a piece of plastic, and then people pull them off and try to sell them or chuck them in the garbage. Uh, but I think these are standard on the uh, Big Ben or not Big Ben. Um, the uh, gosh, my mind is is the the mall crawler version. My mind is gone today. But uh, uh, they, you know, stamp Bronco. They look nice. Um, at no point am I probably going to add this as an accessory, but so be it. Now, cargo area accessories. Now, this this one did interest me a little bit. This um, this little, you know, everybody wants the kind of slide out Ford uh, tailgate, but for an overlanding and um and off roading, this uh this deck right here looks very appealing to me. I mean, like very appealing because store all your all your off road supplies, whether it be uh, snatch blocks, you know, tow ropes, whatever you've got in there, and it still leaves you some upper deck that you can um. Uh, you know, add some more stuff. Maybe you want to put a refrigerator or whatever. If you're doing some kind of overlanding or whatever. Uh, though I think these vehicles are just just a hair too small for a lot of overlanding. I, I mean, Jeep guys do it, I guess. But I don't know. In my opinion, it might not be the biggest. But look at all these Molly panels that they've got back here. That's kind of cool. Uh, you can see it a little better right here. And it looks like a little tailgate, which that, I will say, that is kind of neat. Um, I haven't seen anything like this in the Jeep community. But uh, that having that that tailgate pop up like that, that's actually really really cool, and I may consider something like that in the time comes. Um, but let's see, when is uh looks like uh, J one plus one eighty, whatever that code means. Once again, I'm sure the price of these things are are probably pretty pricey, but I like this. This is the one thing that that did pique my interest. I was like, hmm, that's actually. It's pretty innovative and cool. Now, all the Molly stuff on it, I don't know. I, I once again, I think, I think your mom and pop uh, aftermarket companies usually kind of figure these things out a little better than than the bigger companies do. But uh, it looks like it's by Tuffy, which is a fairly fairly known brand, and uh, that's pretty cool. Now, one thing that I did order with my my Bronco was floor liners. These look actually look a lot like a uh, uh, a WeatherTech liner, which um, in, in, uh, I've, I've had people hit me up and go, Dave, why, you know, you're getting the drain plug and all this. You just rinse it out and do whatever. Uh, I still, floor mats wear, especially where gas pedals and brake pedals are, the way people pivot off the floor with it, you'll wear that spot. So I would rather, I'd rather protect the vehicle the best I can. And then, you know, if it gets dirty, you pull these mats out and then you can still hose it down. And it looks like there's a plug still for it. I'm not sure if that's what that is exactly, but it looks like they still have a spot where you can get to the plug to rinse these out. Um, I believe they were, what, $160 on Ford's building price, uh, which I don't think is too bad considering. I'm never going to notice it in uh, buying the thing and the price of it, really. So I really, really like those, and uh, I'm excited to see those in person. Now... Here's here's one that kind of especially first edition guys got real upset about when they found out they couldn't get some of these racks and stuff. Um, but Ford's gonna sell it to you, and I we've yet to figure out and get a real answer from Ford of why certain vehicles can get these OEM racks and others can't. Um, I understand the idea of these roof racks, especially for rooftop tents stuff like that. People want that to uh, you know either complete the look or they're actually using these vehicles for that stuff. Uh, I think it's brilliant how Ford did on the front here where they have the little caps and you can, you can, you know, cover it up if you're not using these racks or whatever. I don't like personally the way the racks look on the vehicle. Uh, but that doesn't mean that I don't understand the, uh, the need for them. So in my, in my use of this vehicle, I don't know that I would ever have a need for these racks, but they're available. And, um, you know, I I think I've seen a price on them before, but uh, they're not too bad. So if you uh, can't get it right away and you want to complete that look, Ford's gonna sell them to you. Now, here's something kind of kind of cool and also at the same time kind of like, eh, I don't know. So tire covers, yeah, it used to be in the the 70s and 80s, man. These things were all over the place. Uh, people wanted tire covers. Ford's gonna offer you some tire covers. Um, I do kind of like the the throwback one here with the, like the old Ford tailgate a little bit. That's pretty cool, um, and people will buy these. These are accessories that there'll be a couple hundred dollars. People will buy this stuff, and and they do if the sun will beat down on your spare tire and can you know dry it out and tear it up. But I, I'm going to off road mine, and the odds of me blowing a few tires are probably 
better than I'm going to need these covers. Uh, but I do like the looks of a lot of this stuff. These aren't bad. Um, I like how Ford's playing on the 1966 part. They're really trying to play on Heritage. Pretty cool. Uh, as you can see here, here's, here's a tire cover on there. Uh, obviously, this little spot here is for the, uh, the backup camera. So if you're wondering, hey, what is that little hole about? You gotta have a backup camera. It looks kind of make kind of makes it look like a fat donut or something to me. But uh, you know, these are accessories people will want. So uh, wheel kit and wheel locks. Uh, you know, I have no need for wheel locks. Dealers love these are dealer things. They love adding to vehicles and char upcharging a couple hundred dollars for. Them. I personally, I, I especially factory wheels. Uh, I don't ever really anticipate them getting stolen, and I don't live in an area where I probably would have to worry about my wheels as much, but you may in your area need to worry about that, so um, not bad, not bad. Uh, these are Ranger Bronco dealer channel wheels, um, yeah, not for me. Let's see, now this was a head scratcher to me because it's the headliner kit. You can buy, you know, a lot of people were going, well, why can't I order... A headliner, why can I not, if I'm getting a Sasquatch package, why does it not come with a headliner? You know, you can, it, I don't, for whatever reason. Well, it looks like they're going to have a, a kit on this thing, um, which I may actually buy. Uh, like, you can go get carpet, or not carpet, but you can get uh, material, cloth material, and put up there and help deaden it a little bit. This actually, if it's a nice kit, it looks, generally they're fairly easy to install, you know. It's uh, it's just a, a spray glue that you put on these things. Um, I may be interested in this after I purchase it. We'll see. I want to see how loud the vehicle is. If it's not real road noisy, I'm not going to worry about it. But I do like that uh, they're going to make a kit for this thing. So, that's really cool. Now, Molly Grates. So, these are accessory bags for the uh, the tailgate. And here is a cover. Jeep does this, a little... little uh, you know, kind of vinyl cover that you can put over. And when you don't want to put your top on and it's going to rain, this little cover here, this little top, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, use these on Jeeps. They've been very handy. Uh, it's a nice accessory. It looks like it's going to be uh, from day one that you should be able to get that by Cover King. Um, a sound bar. Now, it comes with sound pods. Now, those pods, especially in Jeeps, they never sound the greatest. They, re they really don't. They sound okay, better than some of the homemade stuff I used to see in the, in the late eighties. But, uh, I will be curious to see about this, uh, JBL soundbar. Um, I, I would like to see this reviewed. I'd like to review it when I get mine and, uh, see how well this works. And does, does this mean that Ford, since they already have the wiring, because they're going to be pods in the corner of this thing, will the wiring just be there where you can just plug and play? You just attach this thing, plug and play. looks like there's a couple mounting brackets there, but, um, talk about killing visibility though. Like now you got passengers there with their heads in the way, and now you got this big bar in the way. Um, I've said it in many shows. As long as I can hear my tunes or podcasts, what I'm listening to, I'm not big into to needing everybody to hear my car. But if it's for you, more power to you. Uh, it looks like they're going to offer something nice. Uh, the roof, the roof panel storage bags now, and the door bags. Um. If I remember the door bags, may I may be interested in those depending on price because I'm not sure. I know it said in the building price, I believe it comes with a bags for the two front panels for the hard tops. Um, but it, I, it, it really wasn't very clear about that. So, Cover King's making some bags for that, which is really nice because the storage bags that I like how they did show Bronco Nation did the video where they showed putting the bag on the door and then they picked it up. And you know, you don't have to worry about scratching your door. Hopefully, they're they're fairly carpeted on the inside and tough. Um, so it's, it's a nice, you know, so when you draw it, not drop it, but when you lay it down on the ground, it still doesn't ding up the door, but that's really a cool accessory. Uh, I guess one of the 200 accessories we needed was a winds windshield shade. Um, that says Bronco. Hey, it might be for you, not for me, but if it is, they're going to have it for you. So that's pretty cool. Now here, a lot of people are asking about this swing gate. Uh, it's going to be built by Tuffy. Um, once again, I know mom and pop manufacturing has generally done these kind of things fairly, fairly affordable. I'll be curious because it's stamped Bronco, so there's a licensing fee and all that for this to do this. Um, this is definitely an accessory that uh, that I would probably like to have down the road. Um, 
I do will go camping in this vehicle. I will use this vehicle. And even if I'm just on a daily use, sometimes just having a little storage deck like that, it's pretty handy. So I'm, I'm kind of excited by that. Uh, it says job one on that, which means it should be available from day one. So that's pretty cool. Uh, door, door sills. Now, probably these are probably kind of needed. Um, See, because you're going to a lot of people, a lot of shorter people. Hey, I'm five eight. So once I get in a thirty five inch vehicle, like yes, I need help stepping up on the on the to get in the seat. So I think that this uh, these are probably needed to help kind of just keep the thing from getting all scratched and, and torn up. Um, I'm not going to crap on this very you know. Uh, I like the Bronco design. They didn't go over the top. They could have put four Bronco and had like fifteen horses there. They didn't. It looks pretty classy. Um, this is the graphics kit. This is something that came out on Bronco 6G if, about two weeks ago, I think. Somebody reached out to the manufacturer and uh, Visco and and said, "Hey, what's the package going to look like?" And uh, they showed this, and this they're not going to sell a ton of these things. I'm pretty sure on that. Um, if if maybe some dealers just buy them and, and install them and then up charge them by five six hundred dollars, uh, no, it's not for me at all and yeah, obviously you can tell this is all very early on because they they got the the top is the body color top which uh they're not offering i think till next year uh but it was part of the launch stuff that you could see um if they're for you awesome not for me some of the some of them are real head scratchers like this here I, at no point do i want that that looks screams from the 80s or something i don't know it's it does not look good for me it doesn't look like a lot of thought went into this about what people want on the side of their vehicles. Um, once again, but here's the real one. This is the one I'm just like, ugh. This, obviously it's a play on kind of the old black 70s Broncos. You know, they had the kind of the sun, the sun uh, setting theme. Um, like even on the, the, the Area 51, I believe that is, or Cactus Gray, this looks horrible. I mean, just horrible. I don't wouldn't I, I don't that's a head scratcher to me. I'm once again, more power to you, man. Uh the the car covers, if you are into the Bronco R, that's kind of neat that you can uh, have a car cover of that. Um cool. Uh I, they'll have a couple different models of this, and obviously here's just a more plain version. Um so a lot of people, you know, these are these are not daily drivers for a lot of people, so they'll want to cover it up when uh, they're not you know, having fun with it, and uh, that's cool. Um, the ARB mount. This uh, this is really cool. So, if you don't know what this little pump is, it's an air pump, and sometimes you use them for air lockers. Uh, a lot of people will use them for pumping up tires when you're on the trails. You air down a little bit, so the the ride's a little softer. You get more grip. There's more uh, tire spread. So uh, that's that's actually pretty cool that they're going to offer this. You can buy this from ARB. You could buy one right now. Uh, but if there, I believe there's a particular mount the way Ford's going to have this thing mountable, which is probably going to be really cool. Now it's probably going to cost a lot, and once again, aftermarket or just just uh, forum ingenuity will uh, solve this problem. There's your tube doors, which I think uh, a few companies will come out with tube doors. They're they're not bad. Uh, I don't know if your state requires tube doors or not, but uh, I know these were they were showing these. Uh, early on and they were just a uh, chunk aluminum block here and that's not what they were going to be and Ford at one time said they were going to be crash tested uh, I don't know on that if they've ever done that or not uh, rigid rigid light bars and uh, light accessories these are stuff that you can finance along with your vehicle um, but you could probably do it a lot cheaper just by buying them from from a nice you know, reputable uh, four wheel shop or I think rigid you could probably buy them direct uh, I believe this is a 40 inch light bar and these are little four inch pods. Uh, rigid is probably the best at, at off-road lighting, uh, especially for led off-road lighting. No, no offense. Casey, um, is what it is. Uh, exhaust. You've got a, uh, the, what they call the three or five door, which is just a, you know, the two door, four door Broncos. Uh, it looks like they're going to offer some exhaust stuff. So the black tips actually look really nice. Um, and it will be for the, the uh, 2 or 2.7. <clears throat> now, here's some of the accessories that we're really going get, to get excited by. Uh, these are the, the covers and alarm kits, stuff like that. 
extended it at antenna, blah blah blah. But down here, we're going to start getting into some really cool stuff. So you can get your your fobs, whatever you need, your extra stuff. But Ford Performance, and um, some of these are uh, some of these I think probably reflect that the Warthog is coming. So availability is going to be some you'll see quarter one, quarter two, stuff like that. Uh, gear ratios. So as you can see here, we get the 446, the 4, uh, I believe it's 488 and a 470 gear ratios. Um, some of this is what they, they come from. So if, some of this too, if you're, they have to have parts available. If you break it, that they can fix it. Uh, they got a Dana 44 ring and pinion kit, which uh, this, these axles are basically Dana 44s in the rear. Uh, but, uh, you can go, th you can go through and look at the ring opinion if this is, and once again, I'll post a link to, to this. So if you want to read this in detail, but a couple things that stood out to me was, uh, obviously exhaust. Um, and there's a tuning. Where did that tuning go? Probably past it. Uh, Ford performance is going to, oh, here it is. They're going to offer a, a tune for this. They're calling it the Bronco EcoBoost Power Pack Calibration for the uh, 2.3, and they have one for the 2.7. Now, modern engines, especially turbos, tuning is where it's at, man. Uh, Ford's really not been – they've given us an idea of what these engines are going to do, but they really haven't come out. They should come out, I'm going to say, probably uh, probably end of May is when you're going to hear about all this stuff, the actual performance numbers of these. But a tune can add – 30 to 50 horsepower pretty easily. So if if uh, your Broncos, the 27 is already over 300, man, the idea of getting 350 maybe out of it just by a simple tune and maybe some exhaust upgrades, that's pretty exciting to me. And um, I don't know where you guys are at on it. But once again, go through this list because they've got axles here. Like some of these these uh, complete rear axles, like a, a 488, a 513, and a 538. Now these are definitely... Dana setups that uh you know for larger tires I was talking to my buddy Luke with Lifestyle Offroad and he was like some of these don't make sense for the 10 speed transmission you know some of the the gearing ratios but if these are intended they show quarter four uh are some of this for their uh their warthog that they're planning I have a feeling some of these are and uh you know go through the list once again and uh you know let me know what you think but there it was that was um that was the Bronco accessories. And uh, I know this has been a long video. And if you've made it this far, more power to you, man. Thank you so much. And guys, smash the like button. Show the channel a little bit of love that way. And uh, till next time, we've been talking the, the Bronco and all the parts that are coming good and bad. So from all things all terrain, this is your host, David Boyd. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.